physics break. All right, so here we can see the two chairs are moving. How's it going? And as the chairs are moving, we can see that an object in motion tends to stay in motion via the chairs. And the forces acting on it are the ground, providing friction, and gravity, slowing it down. Senor Armstrong, hold up. Come on, stop. What are you doing? Are you filming? Yeah, I'm All right, so an object in motion, staying in motion. Also, we can see that Lori is an object at rest. She's not moving. So, therefore, she's an object at rest who is staying at rest. There's still the forces of gravity acting on her and the floor, which gives them a state of equilibrium. Object at rest, staying at rest. Well, I mean, with the race, I could, you know, I could have either messed with Dwight or won the race and pleased Michael. Um, but when it comes down to it, messing with Dwight is always going to win. Dwight, good job. I didn't think you had it in your hand. Dwight, you don't start with Dwight. Write it down. That's right, I won. But really, who was surprised? I'm a shrewd. Loser. Alright guys, for our next competition, we will be sledding to see who can go the fastest! Yeah! Michael, there's not that much snow. Pam, you do not need snow to go fast, okay? If there's a will, there's a way. It's right here in your heart that matters, okay? Who, who brought their dog? Why? Did, did you bring your dog? Yeah, I brought my dog. What's wrong with that? She's a fine German hunting dog. We've used her many times on goose hunts. second law. Force equals mass times acceleration, where acceleration is inversely proportional to mass and proportional to weight. For Michael! Okay guys, well I think I think Pam took that one. What? I mean you cheated Dwight and Jim, you're just fat. I'm actually pleasantly surprised you actually did something with your life today. Hmm. Looks like Ginger found some dinner. Alright guys, well since you've shown me absolutely nothing today. We will be having a wrestling match till the death to declare who will be the new educational disciplinary advisor at here at Kent Ridge High School. You guys ready? Konnichiwa! One, two, fight! Ah! <laughs> Alright, this brings us to Newton's third law. Every action has an equal or opposite reaction. Brennan, right here, pushes CJ. Brennan has a bigger force, CJ flies back, and as you can see, Brennan flies back a little bit too. Newton's third law. Well, Michael, doesn't that mean I get the job? I no. won. What you just showed me there was unsportsmanlike violence, the exact opposite of what we need here at Kent Ridge High School. Well, you said I was going to fight to the death. Does that mean I win? No, Dwight, you're annoying and stupid. Oh. Well, I won the sled competition. Do I win? 
Well, see, Pam, I would have picked you, but there's a new opening on the kitchen staff, so I'll let you proceed to what you've always wanted to do since you were a little girl. My winner and the new educationary disciplinary teacher here at Carriage High School will be Ginger. Ginger has ha! shown strong prevalence, working with others, and strong dedication. Well, technically, I won. Because this here's my dog. And I've trained her in the shrewd ways. So, I win. Well, technically, I think I won. Uh, mainly because wrestling is the biggest form of manhood on the planet. And that makes me the biggest man. And the biggest man is the biggest man on campus, and I should get the job. I should have won, because I was the fastest sledder. <laughs> I won. I never got a call from the U of W. <laughs> Where's this Yeah, so today I told Dwight it was costume day, right? Well, I don't think he's figured it out yet. 